Hey everyone, today, we'll be taking a look at the A14B Equalizer and F-90. The F-90 is a concept of an advanced attack aircraft for the Japan Air Self-Defense Force, and is one of the VIP items for the current season of Battle Pass. The A-14B Equalizer is a concept of an advanced attack aircraft to replace the obsolete A-10 Thunderbolt, and is the latest Art Coin exclusive aircraft in the game. Here are the stats of the F-90. In terms of durability, the F-90 is less durable than both the F-28 and F-7. In terms of normal speed, the F-90 has a significantly higher normal speed compared to both the F-28 and F-7. The same can be said in terms of its afterburner speed. In maneuverability, the F-90 is more maneuverable than the F-28, but less maneuverable than the F-7. Lastly, the F-90 has a standard radar range of 8 kilometers, and a standard aviation reserve of 12 pieces. Here are the stats of the A-14B. In terms of the durability of the A-14B, the A-14B is more durable than the kill switch, and it significantly exceeds that of the F-90. In terms of its normal speed, the A-14B is significantly slower than both the kill switch and F-90. The same can be said with the afterburner speed. In terms of its maneuverability, the A-14B is slightly less maneuverable compared to the kill switch, but it is significantly less maneuverable than the F-90. Finally, the A-14B also has a standard radar range of 8 kilometers, and a standard aviation reserve of 12 pieces. Here are the armaments of the F-90. The SCRA-2 cannon has infinite ammunition, with a clip size of 7, and each projectile in the clip can score 700 damage points. The HCM missile has an ammunition count of 2, with a clip size of 1, and each missile in the clip can score 17,000 damage points. The ASM-3 Kai missile has an ammunition count of 3, with a clip size of 1, and each missile in the clip can score 5,000 damage points. Here are the armaments of the A-14B. The GAO-12U Equalizer Cannon has infinite ammunition, with a clip size of 20, and each projectile in the clip can score 750 damage points. The Lao-61 missile has an ammunition count of 3, with a clip size of 8, and each missile in the clip can score 1,900 damage points. The AGM-181 missile has an ammunition count of 2, with a clip size of 1, and each missile in the clip can score 10,000 damage points. The GBU-27 Paveway 3 bomb has an ammunition count of 2, and a burst of this bomb can score up to 39,000 damage points. Now, I'll be showing you guys the burst damage of these new strike fighters. Next, I'll be showing you guys the burst damage of the kill switch, F-28, and F-7 for comparison.
Here are the results of the tests. As you guys can see, both of the new strike fighters have pretty good burst damage. The F-90 dealt more damage than the F-28, while the A-14B dealt a lot of damage, surpassing the majority of other strike fighters. Overall, both strike fighters are great. They are quite powerful because of their impressive burst damage output, but in terms of effectiveness, I have a couple of concerns about the A-14B. The A-14B does good damage but it has a speed that is slower than your average strike fighter. This makes it more susceptible to air defenses, putting it at a higher risk. Furthermore, it is difficult to use because of its bombs, you will not be able to let out its maximum damage output if you don't know how to use its bombs. The damage you saw earlier is not even its exact maximum damage as I also had difficulty landing all of its bombs on the target. I had a lot of trouble accurately dropping those bombs, which led me to eventually give up on using it. Nonetheless, I wanted to show you all the damage it caused, even though it involved wasting a few bombs in the process. Although it has nice durability, players must always quickly launch their attack with this strike fighter, otherwise its speed weakness will get the best of them. On the other hand, I have no issues with the F-90, and I really enjoy using it. It offers solid burst damage, decent stats, and is much easier to handle compared to the A-14B. Because of these qualities, I've placed it at the top of my favorite aircraft list, alongside the F-28. While some might consider its speed a drawback because it's a bit too fast, I believe you'll get the hang of it with time and practice. So what do you guys think about these new strike fighters? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Now that's all for today's video, hopefully you guys liked it, and if you all did, please leave a like and subscribe to support me, thank you so much for watching.